All right, so we're gonna go ahead and delete our ping command that we created in the last episode where we did the command handler. And we're gonna create a new file and we're gonna call it status in the same category. Now here we're gonna require a couple of objects from the Discord package. So let's require Discord and then fill out this object uh, with client and message embed. Now here we're gonna require uh, the connection object from the um, Mongo's uh, package. So let's require Mongo's. And here let's require the collection or connection sorry and now here we're going to require the file that we connected with our database uh, with so for example if you go to the events in the ready event here you can see that we connected to the database inside of this ready event so we're going to go ahead to status and we're going to type require dot dot slash dot dot slash events slash client slash ready now here we're going to model dot exports the name of the command is obviously going to be status. The description is going to state, uh, let's say, displays the status of the client and database connection. Now uh, we can set the permission uh, for the commands, but um, in this case it's unnecessary. So we're going to async and execute. Let's remove this line over here, it's unnecessary too. Um, and then we're going to execute the interaction and client and then open up a code block let's remove the space and here we can require our parameters so command interaction uh, for the interaction and client for the client now here we're gonna um, create our embed so type const response equals to new message uh, see message embed we're gonna set the color to be whatever let's set it to be aqua then we're gonna set the description to be the following. We're gonna leave it for B, uh, B for now. So here we now we're gonna create uh, our first function function in this series. So what the function is uh, gonna be is gonna switch. So for example, if the value is zero, we're gonna switch to uh, the string or a certain string that we're gonna set. So let's create a function. So function, we're gonna call the function uh, switch uh, to. We're gonna pass in val. And uh, we're gonna create a code block, and we're gonna se uh, set the status to be an empty string. So var status equals empty string. This is for our mongos because we have a couple of options. So if the connection, which we required from here, returns zero, th then it's it means something one. It means something else. I'm gonna have the picture up on your screen. So uh, now here we're gonna uh, go down one more line. And here we're gonna make a switch uh, function. We're gonna switch between the val and uh, case zero. As you see on your screen, it's gonna be status equals to. You can add an emoji. Let's uh, see something red. Let's see over here. Red disconnected. And then we're gonna break and create another case, which is gonna be one equals status equals to. Let's have it's connected, so let's put it green. We're gonna have connected, then we're gonna break again. Case two, we're gonna um, as it says connecting, so type status equals to let's say uh, put uh, orange for example, orange, orange connecting. And uh, we're gonna go down one more line, break, and case three is gonna be that we see here status equals to disconnecting. So let's, uh, let's see what we have, what kind of colors we have. This is completely customizable by you guys, so it doesn't matter whatever I type. So let's put it like this, for example. Uh, this should be status. Ugh, I wrote all of them wrong. Status. All right. And it's gonna be, it's gonna say disconnecting. And uh, we're gonna break and return status. So let's break. And here, over here, we're gonna return status. All right, so now that we created our, our function, let's continue with our embed. So we're gonna type here, um, first of all, client. Uh, and we're gonna style it a little bit. It's uh, if the bot responds, it's obviously gonna be online. So we don't need to put advanced code if it doesn't respond then he know for sure that it's offline so let's say online and then here we can uh, set the client ping for example so uh, type 
client.ws.p uh, and then we can type ms2 because it's in milliseconds uh, then but we can create a new line and uh, we can put the, the connection status or actually let's put the client uptime uh, so let's type uptime and it's going to be equal to uh, this uh, bracket see that's how you style the new dates and here we're going to type parsing um, and client dot ready timestamp and then um, it's going to be r with this bracket then here we can create a new line uh, for the database so um, let's actually create a completely new line and here we can type database and we're gonna style it and here we're gonna type switch to which is the function that we created over here connection dot ready state the style it and we can make a new li uh, line uh, or we don't need to make a new line because that's basically it uh, so let's put it over here now here we're gonna type interaction dot reply uh, why am i getting not getting see oh yeah I need to require the command interaction so let's go ahead and do it all right so let's go again interaction dot reply we're gonna reply with the response embed all right so now let's try restarting the bot uh, you can see here the commands loaded status successful very good feature from our previous video now here we're gonna type uh, slash status and like you see here oops we did something wrong here uh, it shouldn't be in 5,000 or 51,000 years. Let's go ahead and shake it out. Mm. Oh, we forgot to, uh, or is it? We, we forgot to divide it by 1,000 uh, because it's milliseconds. So let's divide it by 1,000 with this bracket or this slash. All right, now let's type status. And here we go, client online, uptime a few seconds ago and database is connected. Now let's write the database. So let's remove all of these lines over here, for example. All right, let's restart the boat. So now we're disconnected, we're not connected. So now if type status, it's, it will say disconnected. So it's a pretty cool status command. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one.